Hello. You know what? I love virtual doctor appointments. <laughs> and I like that they're like allowed, it allowed us to sleep in an extra hour um, this morning, except right when I, like my alarm went off and I checked my phone, I was checking to see if I had like the link for the, the telehealth visit for her with her pediatrician. And it said, we'll see you in our new office location. And I was like, no, 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 <laughs> I'm in my bed. We're in our pajamas. Like there's no going in person for this appointment. What are we talking about? So I had to quickly call the office and I'm like, no, no, no. And they were like, no, 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 it's, it's virtual. You'll get a link soon. <laughs> She's like, we just have to send that text message out for any appointment that you have. And so oh, I don't want to do that. I want to leave. I am, I have a new, one new water bottle. And I took this to go work out yesterday. I'm going to have that one be my car one. This one is so heavy. And I never drink all of this unless I'm like sitting in the car waiting for someone for like an hour. So I'm going to leave this one by my desk. And hopefully that is opening up. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, anyway, but now, despite what Ashley wants, we actually have to go to school. What? You would love to just stay home, yeah. correct? <laughs> but she actually does need to go to school. I actually was gonna do this appointment from the car. I was just gonna be at the school right when this appointment started so she could just dash into school. But I was like, you know what? It'd be nice to sleep in, correct? She came into my bed right when her first alarm went off. You didn't turn that alarm off, did you? <laughs> when her normal alarm was supposed to go off. She came crawling into my bed. I woke up and, at uh, 10 a.m. You, you did? Woke up. Oh, that stinks. I that actually... was my alarm, so I rolled out of bed. That was my alarm. And then it came into me. Yeah. So I... Anyway, so it's nice to have her snuggled in my bed. I also fell off the bed last night. <laughs> How did you fall off the bed? I was on the edge of my bed. That's because you had too many squishmallows in no. there. Yes, yes. I was on the edge of my bed because it was really comfortable. And then I wanted to turn back to like the middle of my bed, but I accidentally turned the other way. The other way. <laughs> and fell off. And then Chelsea right. laughed at me. I'm sure she did. All right, we're gonna head off and take her to school. I also have to take Abby her um, yearbook camera. Check this out. They have a lot of money <laughs> with their yearbook staff and she hasn't even spent, her teacher hasn't even spent all their money. So they get nice cameras to use. She did a tennis match yesterday and maybe a track and field. I can't remember which one she did. But I'm gonna take Ashley to school take Abby her um, camera and then I'll see if there's an errand to run while I am out and about <laughs> make the gas useful between those two different schools you ready to go kiddo I have to not show you the school <laughs> um, but Ashley did great going to school today and uh, when I was talking to her pediatrician this morning on our little, oh, you can't even see me at all, her virtual appointment. Um, she's like, have you noticed any difference with her medication? I was like, well, it's only been a week, so I don't know if I could, you know? And then I was like, well, wait a minute. I was like, in one week, she's only had like one anxiety attack versus like the week before, she had like four. So yeah. There is, like, there is a difference. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's so good. So, and I think all the, like, the two receptionists in the, in the school, they were like, you know, okay, is she going to go in? Is she going <laughs> to? Anyway, but she just walked right in there. Didn't have any problem. <sighs> Which makes my heart happy that we're on the right track. All right, next up camera bag for Abby. Got it right there. On my way to you. Hang on. Any chance you can come out and get it when I get there? She didn't respond to me when I left the house. So I want to make sure I'm not going to waste my time. I probably will have to sit in the parking lot for a minute, but what else can I do today? What do I have to do today? <laughs> do I have anything on the calendar? 
I think I do. What am I missing? Oh, I have a scan. In four hours. <laughs> Can't kill four hours. I'll probably just go home. I got called for another scan. And this one pays well again. So I will take it. Alright. Slight change of plans here. I have just finished editing a video. And... Working out. I wanted to work on a few more things, honestly. But Ashley doesn't feel well. She is at school. The nurse just called me. I'm trying to think what else I could have done. <laughs> um, nope. Can't do anything that like that. Um, I went and picked up one of Kaylee's favorite snacks on my way home, so I can't show that. I gotta hide these. Let's go with the trusted spot that I have my other birthday presents in. <laughs> I'm gonna put these down in here. Um, but anyway, Ashley um, doesn't feel very well. She says she feels dizzy. My kids use the word dizzy often, and I honestly, most of the time, I associate it, or I end up being able to associate it with a headache. For whatever reason, my kids can't like figure out when they're young to call it a headache. Um, but she might also just be dizzy because she doesn't eat very well. She did a decent job um, eating before we left, but didn't have any solid food. She just had her breakfast drink, and I'm like, you have to have like a, a fruit or some oatmeal with it. You, ha you gotta get something solid in your belly. So she's just not feeling very well. Put you down on a hoka box. Can you see it? Hoka! <laughs> I think Jason got Abby a pair of hokas last night. I'm not sure if she's keeping them. Cute, huh? Very fun. Um, I think she needs them for her job. She's like, my feet hurt. I'm like, yeah, because you're wearing like, no offense, but you're wearing like Nikes. There's a reason we don't carry Nikes. Because they're actually not very supportive. So he got her a pair of hokas. Anyway, I'm gonna rush down to pick Ashley up from school. Um, I don't think this is like an anxiety moment. Um, she did get through her math exit ticket um, and uh, probably is just like one more little section of school left. You know, like one more little subject, maybe a specialty class or something left. Sorry, I'm trying to get my shoes on. But, so I don't think she's just trying to get out of class and come home. I think she just doesn't feel well but I made her promise me that she's going to rest, work on Zern, and have something to eat when she gets home. I have my phone um, and can't chat with her friends, obviously, until they get home from school. Um, by the time I actually get her home, I have a little errand. I can run to the bank really quick. By the time I actually get her home, Chelsea will be home within like maybe a half hour of me needing to relieve and go to my scan. So it's not like she's gonna be here very long and I'm gonna make her stay in her bedroom. So <laughs> it gets kinda of tricky when she's my youngest and I, but Chelsea will be home. She's the earliest one um, to come home from school. So a little bit of a different change of plans. I'm trying, still trying to find a, I think I found the chiropractor I want for Abby. Um, that's what I was gonna do next and that's what I can't really do while I'm driving and then going to my scan. Someone has um, given me a good referral for a chiropractor, like ones that they've gone to. I just don't know how, like how it works. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have one by the time, or even have an appointment by the time this video goes up. So if you guys have experiences with chiropractors, let me know because like I don't understand, um, can you get like one adjustment or do you need to have multiple adjustments? Do you need to like see them every week? Um, I don't know the cost. I don't think her insurance will cover it. I think that's why we haven't done it before because the doctor, the orthopedic specialist, she's like, most of the time chiropractor isn't covered. Acupuncture isn't covered. And um, I don't mind paying out of pocket, but it's like if I have to have her go multiple times a week in the beginning that can like just add up I just need to know like where my budget needs to get realigned um and we'll do it you know it's fine it's healthcare. it's what you do but 
Um, I just gotta figure that out. And like, I don't understand how often, obviously maybe we'd just do a consult and then figure it out from there. But I think this is maybe a good next step for her and her back and her headaches, like the tension in her neck before she has her surgery. Cause I think a good readjustment can help her a lot. Um, so anyway, that was just the next thing up on my list of things to do, but it meant like I needed to call and like talk to the office and, um, anyway, so on a side note, look at that sun. It's beautiful today. I love springtime here in the Northwest cause it smells so good. And literally everything that like is going to bloom will like as soon as it gets sunshine. <laughs> it's 42, no, I guess it's 60. There's no way it's 61. That was, that's gotta be my garage. Um, it was 42 degrees this morning when I went out. And yet if the sun is shining, every single bud is like, all right, we're here to play. Whether it's February or April, the buds will just come out cause they feel sun and they're like, yep, that's what we're gonna do. And so everything starts to bloom everything starts to bud and everything smells so so good i just love the way it smells here and um, the northwest definitely does have a very good fresh smell but it's different in the springtime i even opened my windows driving home this morning because it just smells so good even though it was a little bit cold um it was kind of fun to have the windows down but i gotta rush down and get ashley all right we got a little squirtle right there she really doesn't feel very good um, stopped at the bank really quick on my way home. Um, but now I'm gonna, we're gonna get her home. And actually, I was looking at the time of everything and literally Chelsea's gonna be home within minutes of when I'm leaving. I'm literally just gonna go drop her off and then Chelsea will be there, which is perfect timing. I was kind of a little worried about it, but it'll be great. So Chelsea knows she's coming home to a kid in the house <laughs> um, but anyway I look at this I'm wearing sunglasses it's March it's pretty weather huh you just don't feel good your, your cheeks are even a little pink huh a little flushed it looked like that this morning no you didn't it was different I have this photo what is it <laughs> My cheeks weren't red, so that was this morning. Yeah. Oh, you took that this morning? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, I have like five minutes. I'm going to run in and check her temperature really quick. Seems like she's kind of going downhill. And Kaylee just texted me that she has a sore throat. Correct? Yeah. So, run up and grab the thermometer from my bedside. I'm going to grab headphones for my scan so I don't get bored. 97.7. 97.7. Okay. 98.4. Probably a little bit more in the ear, more a little more accurate. Okay, let's just get you some ibuprofen and food, correct? Yeah. Alright, just finished with my scan. And I think I have two sickies at home. Ashley texted me right after I left, right after Chelsea got there, that her temperature went up to 100.3. And then Kaylee texted me again saying that she had a sore throat but more than anything. She's just really tired. Um, and asked if we had supplies to make smoothies, which I don't. I don't usually have them during the winter. <laughs> I usually have a you know good like berry mix or a melon mix in the freezer during the summertime. But and we will have a lot of that this summer. But I don't have it right now. So smoothie one for her and smoothie one for Ashley, and to help mom get through the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm actually trying to remember if I actually ate. I honestly can't remember. I don't think I ate anything today. It's five o'clock. I think I had a Coke earlier today. I don't remember if I've eaten. I know that's horrible. I've literally just been going and going and I don't think I have. I'm trying to remember. Like, I, And I know I eat the same things every day so sometimes I just like forget if I actually have or not. I did have breakfast. I did have, I just remembered, <laughs> well, I saw, I did have a banana and I did have a protein bar on my way to that scan because I was going to eat um, at the time I had to stop and go get Ashley from school. 
So I remember getting in the car with that protein bar and that banana and I drank all of my water, which is why it's sitting over there now. So, I mean, I'm not like without food. <laughs> I just need a real meal. So I might actually go home and make dinner tonight. I could use a real meal tonight. Literally just went to put the footage in for today's video and I was like, when did I stop filming? Like, I, <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I filmed. Um, I've been glued to this chair. You guys, I've been working on um, school for Abby next year. She's going to do running start, so it's just that process is coming up really quick. She, if you don't know, that's um, taking college courses during high school to graduate with half your college done by the time you're a senior, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, but I've been doing that. The printer wouldn't work, so then I had to get the printer working. It just was a snowball, and my list literally went from like can't show you everything on there um like five things on my list to now like 20 I don't even know how many are on there and none of them I can do right now um because everything is closed now so how are you doing boo you feeling better you're doing handstands so you gotta be feeling a little bit better yeah. but we're gonna go to bed on time, on time. My shoes, so like and on time is not 11 p.m on time is actually like 9 p.m., which is like now. The only reason why I went to bed late is because... Every night is late, so there's no real reason. Well, I went to bed at 12 a.m. and normally I go to bed at 11. Okay, but tonight we're gonna go to bed earlier than that. The only reason why I went to bed at 12 a.m. is because I could sleep it. I know, but um, tell them what, your day, what you get, reward you get in class tomorrow. Um, PG day, selfie day, fort day. Sports day? Yeah, they get Where? to bring a blanket, a pillow, a stuffy, and wear pajamas. And so then we get up basically all, I, I don't know, but I think we're gonna try and convince her to make it all of us in a square, and so then we can... <laughs> Still work. What's yeah. Sicky doing? Yeah, Kaylee's sick. She's actually like, sick legit sick. sick. Yeah. This one, she did have a fever, she didn't fake it, but that one is legit Where? sick. We're ready to go to bed soon, right? Can I bring stuff to you or something? Oh, it's she needs to hold off on nighttime meds just a smidge longer. You can go to bed. But you're ready to go to bed, right? Yeah, I even told my math teacher, I was like, yeah, I'm not coming tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you already told her when you left school yeah. today? Okay, you didn't come home early. So just make sure you get your homework and stuff so you, we can help you with it and whatever. You're so good. Don't get homework. It's fine. Okay, well, you get to bed. You go get your stuffy Can't. stuff. That look. I, yeah. No, can't. Why? Mm. Oh, maybe. Well, you're saying go to okay, bed. Okay, if you can't go to bed, then you I need, need to go. I, can, no, can, I can, thought. Can, I, can. Then go and get your counter sun. Oh, I looks thought, like you're up. I, you're, I, up. you're up. You're up. I thought you meant go to bed, but I can't. Why? My bed. I have to take okay. it. Fair enough. Do you go your into your chore. chore and then do hey, Kaylee. Taking your shoes. Can you load? No. I know you don't feel good, but I still need it loaded. Dad will be home tomorrow so he can do it for you. <laughs> I like saying things like that on camera because then he's like, oh, yeah, I can't. What? <laughs> I do other dishes all the time. I know you do. I'm also just trying to instill in our kids their chore duties. I keep the rest of the house clean. <laughs> or you just don't wash your dishes anymore. Dude, give me a break. Do you know how many adults, how many parents I have talked to? I talked about five I mean, people I mean. last night no no i talked about five moms last night and we were talking about like someone had said like i still have to get my high schooler up to go to school and i was like oh, oh honey i don't even wake up until she get, goes to school and yesterday i didn't i checked on her she came into my room three times she was good she went out to the bus chelsea watched her walk down there and, and she's good to go and they're like wait 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 they, you know, and all these really moms sh sh all these moms were like wait a minute let me understand this like you have three older kids, they go to two different schools at different times and they all get themselves up. And I said, they set their own alarms, they get themselves out of bed, they make their own breakfast, they make their pack their own lunch. They, I mean, I clean the clothes so they they get themselves dressed, obviously. They pack their bags, um, they fill up their water bottles and they get out to the door either to the bus or Kaylee takes Abby a few days a week in the car. My kids are awesome. <laughs> yeah. you. Well, you cut oh, me off. oh, you're always cutting me off. Oh. Always, that's how it works. <laughs> I just said that as a joke. You know, I'm just saying, every when, mom. When they act up, you're always like, your kids are acting I know. Bad. <laughs> when they're bad, they're his kids. <laughs> <laughs>
No, but every mom was like, what did you do? And, and so then when I said, you know, yeah, I sleep in until she wakes up or whatever. And they were like, well, you earned that. And I was like, exactly. I have earned the right to sleep in until eight o'clock because my other kids are responsible. So many kids get to college and move out or whatever, get married, and they have no clue how to get up by themselves, how to do anything, how to make their own meals. You're a good kid. I'm doing this for their, their own good. It is. it is. No, but really, like honestly. Like, I never, I you never yeah. make my lunch. No, I have been. Do you I've ever eat lunches. the lunch I've had uh, yes. anymore? No. Uh, over the years, I've yeah. made the lunch. That's why I make my lunch. I've made the lunch. You show them how. Yes. yes. And, and, always and now they know what they ha like. Yeah. You did it when I was like. I don't want to wash. You want to watch the show, so you want me to turn this off? No, you can do what you want. I'm just letting you know. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> I had a long day at work. I'm long actually day. ending the video. It's fine. We're going to send them off to bed. Um, this is another... I'm ready to go watch a show, and everyone is downstairs now. That's why you should just get a TV. I, tell him. Why, why don't you earn some money? <laughs> because he knows that if they ask for it, it'll happen. Oh, if I it. ask for it, just, it doesn't happen. He's like, I'll be screwed because I say yes to them. You don't need a bed in, or a TV in the bedroom. Then why do you have a man cave? I you don't, don't actually either. use it. No, I will agree. That's I, not even like That's that. not even really anything. No. He just uses it as a store as junk. It's fine. Whatever. I could say something, but I know. I don't. Like... I don't. You should not. <laughs> oh Good night. Before this turns south. Okay. Bed. Yes. Good night. <laughs>